I founded Farmer's Fridge to try to make healthy meals more accessible um, through automated kiosks. I was traveling a lot for work and I realized that um, it was very difficult to build a big restaurant and serve lots of people and it was kind of a slow growth process. Um, but if I broke that up into 100 tiny kiosks and put them all over the place, not only would they be more convenient, but we could uh, grow at a different rate than a normal restaurant. Zero percent is like a match made in heaven for our business. Um, everything we do is grab and go. So we knew at the end of the day there would always be food left over and we needed a place to donate it. Um, until we met zero percent, we were donating that food on our own. It's a lot of work. And actually, um, the founder of zero percent found me because he read an article on Fast Company. We were on the, like the same week. And we went to this networking event and he kind of beelined over and said, we have to meet and, and the rest is history. You know, restaurants, they have great access food and their heart's in the right place. They want to donate and give back to the community, but it's, donation has been a hard problem. It's hard for them to figure out what nonprofit could come in at this time and pick up this product. And we are creating this marketplace of donations to help them do the right thing in an easy and safe way. Hi, just filling up the farmer's fridge vending machine. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Monday through Friday, I, I fill the farmer's fridge vending machine. So we have seven stops throughout the day. Uh, they're spread out throughout the city. Office buildings, art lofts like Lacuna, where we're at right now. And every single day, these are filled fresh. So 0% goes and removes the, the day-old items, salads, wraps, uh, yogurt, chicken bites. We take out all the day old ones and fill them with the ones that were made fresh this morning and we allocate all of the day old salads to people in need. So we work with Catholic Charities, um, Project Onward. Project Onward is one of our 40 partner nonprofits in Chicago. And we really look at creating value for our nonprofits and seeing what, how can we help them? How can we bring the food that they want by the time they need it? And uh, Project Onward is one of uh, uh, that nonprofit that was very surprising, but has a very uh, incredible mission of helping artists with disabilities uh, as they want to produce art and be self-sustaining. I've been here, uh, I think about eight months. Um, it's a really great place. I don't know what I'd do if I didn't have it. Uh, it gets a nice, clean, safe place to work, and uh, the people here are really nice. And uh, salads are great. Um, the Mediterranean is my favorite, and uh, they have wraps too. And uh, it's good to come in and have something to eat. You know, some days I don't have anything to eat, um, and it's also healthy too because I got to watch what I eat. We're a nonprofit uh, studio and art gallery for artists with mental and developmental disabilities. Zero Percent uh, ended up being an amazing collaboration with Project Onward because um, we feel like we were able to kind of fulfill both of our missions by, uh, by partnering. Um, because our mission is really to provide support uh, for artists. And um, it is a cliche of the starving artist, but in the case of many of our participants, um, who uh, have disabilities, have a very limited income, uh, sometimes have to choose between uh, medication or services or, or food, or at least um, quality food. And also many of our artists live in a uh, food desert, have um, what I think we would call in food insecurity. And so um, that's something that we've tried to address over the years, uh, just trying to uh, uh, come up with ways to provide some kind of um, meal or nutrition for the artists while they're here because they're spending a, uh, a good part of their day uh, with us and um, I think anybody knows you can't work very well whatever you're doing if you're not if you don't have food in your stomach. It's, it's that connection between some great food that we have in this community and the need uh, with some of our unfortunate neighbors that brings people together in this uh, mission.